Hello everyone, I'm Jean, a prototyping engineer at Starwell and FSW expert. We are going to focus on four main points out of these 11 golden rules that will help you make your, your part weldable with FSW. Either a new part or adapt a part. We will go around four points that gravitate around the FSW tool itself. First, the material. As you can see, I have various parts made out of different materials. The material we choose will have a direct impact on the technology and tool that we can use. We can use retractable pin tool or fixed pin tools made out of different materials. Then we will discuss the trajectory and how it has an impact on how we enter and exit the weld. Now we're going to discuss materials. If I tell you about FSW, I believe the first material you will think of is aluminum. We can use rolled aluminum, like this part that has been machined, but we can also use casted parts. Sand casted, die casted. Almost any casting solution is compatible with FSW. We can also use aluminum on top of steel. Here, this is stainless steel, and we have been welding aluminum on top of stainless steel. We can also weld copper, and we can very interestingly for instance, for bus bars, weld copper on top of aluminum or aluminum on top of copper. So now that you have chosen the material, we can choose the size of the tool. So first, we'll check what is the thickness of the plate or the part that we can weld, we want to weld. And this will have a direct impact on the size of tool that we can use. Small tools that have small pin and a small shoulder that help us bring enough heat for the stirring. Bigger tools will need a bigger shoulder but can weld a higher penetration. These tools have either different geometry or different materials. We have standard tools for aluminum welding and we have specific tools for copper and aluminum to stainless welding. If you specifically need to have a part that has no exit hole, we have retractable pin tool. This tool has a pin that can retract inside of the shoulder to remove exit hole. So let's take an example. Here we have the longitudinal weld that has been done with the standard tool. It is possible because we can take out this piece of material after the welding and remove the exit hole. In this case, we cannot isolate the exit hole. We have two pipes welded together. This orbital weld has no room for removing the exit hole such as we did here. So in this case, we need to fill the exit hole with the retractable pin tool. We have other strategies to solve the problem of exit hole. Here, we have gone outside of the part at the end of the weld, so the joint is exempt of the exit hole. For instance, on this cold plate, we have been able to escape the exit hole outside of the welded zone to keep the part leak tight. Now that we have discussed these four points that gravitate around the FSW tool, check the link into the description and download this free document that gives you the 11 rules to optimize your design for FSW. Once you think your part is ready for FSW, go to stowell.com and get in touch with our FSW experts.